Well, January is National Baking Month, and our next guest is here to share a recipe and give us some tips and tricks to being an expert baker. I'm so excited about this. So joining us now is food and lifestyle influencer, Shanesty Ireland. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi guys, thank you so much for having me. You know, when I was getting ready for this segment, I was thinking January is National Baking Month. It seems kind of counterintuitive because we've gone through all of the baking season, but for everyone watching and for both of you, I'm gonna give you a justification for it. So say you're trying to get super healthy this year and you're doing so well, you can have a little bit of something to indulge in. And that's, that's how I'm gonna justify National Baking Month. <laughs> Oh, it makes perfect sense too. I mean, you got you got to find some kind of justification. Absolutely. So, so, so tell us about National Baking Month. What I mean, what's the all the hoopla about? So it's the time. I also think about all those recipes. Maybe I enjoyed over the holidays, and I want to give it a go in my own kitchen. There's a few tips and tricks to get started with. The first thing is I always tell people check your pantry. I actually just cleaned this out. I really should open it so you guys could see how beautiful it looks in there. Uh, but January is a great time to clean out your pantry and getting rid of some of those things like baking powder, baking soda. Some of those things actually have a really short shelf life, like six months or nine months. So getting rid of some of those products that maybe you've used over the holidays, they're running low or you're not sure when they expired, go ahead and get rid of those. And if you're going to be baking anything, um, cookies, cake, cupcakes, anything, pulling your refrigerated ingredients out and making them room temperature is going to give your recipes the spunk and the boom that it needs. It's going to make everything taste a little bit better as well. Oh, so tell us a little bit about what we can indulge in for National Baking Month, because I know you have something there. <laughs> I do, and, and this is a brownie tart. I actually made this this morning. This is going to be made with chocolate chips, uh, butter, flour, salt, eggs, vanilla, baking soda, all of that mixed together. And then I popped it into the oven for 350 for about 30 minutes. So it's a little bit sweeter and a little bit more indulgent than brownie. And anything I can make from scratch, it doesn't come out of a box, I am all for it. Now here's the tip, here's the bonus. We are gonna be putting Bon Deville ganache on top of this instead of frosting or icing. This stuff is coconut based, it is dairy free, it is vegan as well, and it's really delicious. And if anyone's thinking what on earth is ganache, the way I describe it is it's kind of like adult pudding. So it's a little bit thicker, um, it's richer, it's creamier, and I promise you guys, when you pick this up at your local Meyer there in Lexington, you're not even gonna know it's dairy free. We put that on top of the brownie tart, and voila, it's it's wonderful. I wish I was right there, I'd hand it to you right now. It's, it's so good. Now one of these days you're gonna have to go on the road and start traveling and visit stations, okay? So we can get some I know, of that. Well, I mean, I lived in Lexington for probably eight years. I went to UK, I, I'm due. I need to be back there. That's where I need to be. That's my people. <laughs> so Shanice, how can we learn more? Yeah, so you can head over to my Instagram at Shanesty Ireland. I have tons of recipes on there, as well as she's becoming domestic.com. Bondville Ganache can be picked up at your local Meyer there in Lexington, or you can head over to their website. Oh Shanesty, thank you so much. It was truly a pleasure to see you again. Yes, good to see you guys. Thank you. Bye bye.